good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another AEW Unrivaled Collection review on the brand new Shop AEW Unrivaled Collection, one of 3,000 exclusive Lay Champion Chris Jericho figures. If you want to pick this up, you're going to have to do so on the aftermarket. Yeah, I think the only way you're going to get this is on eBay, Mercari, some sort of giveaway, maybe a toy store randomly somewhere, like a little mom posh shop hole in the wall store. You're not going to be able to get this on ringside collectibles or anything like that, man, but the Shop AEW exclusive of 1 in 3,000 Chris Jericho went up live, I think, uh, was it last week or a couple weeks ago on ShopAEW.com. I managed to grab two of them in Defender cases, and I decided I wanted to review one for you guys. So this is the one that I'm going to keep in the package, in the Defender case, hang on the wall, all those deals. And then I was going to keep them both mock, and then I thought, nah, bro, I, if I want a full loose and mock collection of these exclusives and all these different things, man, I got to review one on the channel. I figured you guys would like to see me unbox it and stuff like that. So here is Le Champion, looking pretty good. I love the packaging. I mean, that's mainly the sale of these figures is the packaging and the exclusivity of them, right? I mean, I don't think there's any huge differences between these, but we do get some cool accessories. We're going to analyze everything and take a closer look at it, man, but I think the packaging is beautiful. I was so happy to finally grab two of them. I was sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. As soon as it went live, I think it went live like two minutes before it said it was going to go live, so I jumped in line early, got two of them, and I'm very excited for it, man. Let's go ahead and dive into this packaging. I'm going to set this one off to the side, and we are going to get into the one, of course. Again, man, so happy that I that I grabbed these, bro. I, I was just thrilled, man. I have I have taken so many L's on the sneakers app trying to get exclusive shoes. So to be able to snag these and get out and check out in a firmly, timely fashion, it was just beautiful. But here's the front of the packaging. I think my favorite part is the stickers, man. These stickers really sell these AEW figures. You guys can see Shop AEW, one of 3,000 exclusive. I'm probably going to somehow take this off and keep the sticker because I think it looks really sick. However, here's your front viewing window. Of course, unrivaled standard pack with your gold foil over here you got a beautiful image like kind of a par pop artsy sort of image of Chris Jericho kind of matches the shirt design there on the bottom it says Chris Jericho in this beautiful pink color unrivaled collection 8 plus number one shop AEW so that's cool you guys know that we do have the Kenny Omega and the Moxley coming soon on the side it says Le Champion in the like sort of an autograph I don't think it looks exactly like his autograph but maybe when he audit like I'm sure they got this from his own original autograph to put it on the side here still sick as hell I think the Kenny Omega coming soon is probably the best one but AEW Picture of Jericho here from the t-shirt, of course. Shop AEW number one. On the back, you get a beautiful image of Jericho playing the air guitar with the baseball bat. Chris Jericho, the champion. And that pretty much wraps up our packaging, man. What a gorgeous figure in the box. It's, it's going to pain me to open it, but at least I have my mock one that I can continue to look out for, you know, the foreseeable future. But anyways, man, we're going to crack this guy out of the packaging, find out what he's all about, and get the review started. So with all that being said, let's crack the champion out of his Lepakiak game. And here's Lake Champion out of his packaging. Liking what I'm seeing out of the figure. Again, not a ton of things going on with it, of course, like we've covered, man. The packaging is really where the selling point is. But I'm really excited for it. You know, I'm all about Chris Jericho. He's one of my first favorite wrestlers of all time. Him and Kurt Angle were my first two loves. I'd say, I think, I want to I wanna say Chris Jericho was my very first favorite wrestler. He's always been one of my favorites. Just one of those most entertaining guys. He just popped off the TV every single time, man. So growing up as a kid, I, I adored Chris Jericho. And so it's really awesome to see him here in AEW getting these great figures, seeing his career play out on my television, man. Just a beautiful set of memories to go with, man. But we're going to dive into this Chris Jericho, man. Let's go ahead and dive into his accessories first, and then we will take a closer look at the figure itself and do some Chris Jericho figure comparisons. All right, guys, so getting into Jericho's accessories, starting out first, let's start with, like, the main accessory that we really haven't seen before, and that is going to be this claw Chris Jericho Le Champion shirt here with, like, the poppy art, you know, like, high contrast, two different colorways, got Le Champion down the side here. That is the same Le Champion Champion that is on the packaging that we just saw and it's the same image from the side of the packaging so they kind of made this whole entire figure out of like a shop AEW item which is kind of cool you know you can get this shirt somewhere I don't know if this shirt is actually on the website I'm sure it probably is but it is cool that they took that shirt shrunk it down made a whole packaging out of it and they're doing the same thing for Mox same thing for Kenny so really cool I think that's awesome honestly I, I feel like I need to get the shirt to match the figure is that kind of crazy probably so but it's a nice shirt it is cloth goods got a nice good velcro on it it feels a lot like like the Britt Baker from the Ringside Exclusive, and it feels a lot like other shirts we've seen from AEW and Jazzwares already. So that is comparable there. It looks pretty good. I like it, all those things. We also have his baseball bat accessory, which is pretty cool. It's the same exact sting bat, if I'm not mistaken. Like, it has the exact same color, same exact sculpt. It's more of like a metal bat because this looks like metal bat tape. You know, it doesn't look like a wooden bat to me. I don't know if it's wooden or if it's metal. I feel like it's metal. You know, it kind of has like that matte, smooth material instead of like the wood grain pattern. So that leads me to think 
think that it is a metal bat. We also have his Le Champion scarf. Now, we've seen this with the Series 6 Jericho, and we saw with the AEW Amazon exclusive Jericho. So, this is the third time now that we're seeing this. Again, not a lot of crazy stuff going on. It would have been cool to see a different scarf, but it wouldn't match the figure, now would it? So, I don't, I don't know. There's the scarf there. And last but not least, we do have his fist. So, you get two interchangeable fists. And out of the packaging, he comes with mic holding slash weapon wielding, you know, or, or baseball bat wielding interchangeable hands. So getting into the figure itself, starting out with the head sculpt, man, we've seen this head sculpt a bunch, right? They've used this this screaming expression a lot, man. It's been used quite a bit now. It's been used on the Series 6. You had the Chase variant that it was used on. You have this figure. You have the Amazon exclusive. So we've seen this figure. It's had its round. So hopefully this one will retire soon and we can get a brand new Chris Jericho head sculpt. You know, the gritty one, the smiley from the little bit of the bubbly, and this one are the three that we have seen. Then you have the... And I'm just now noticing he was clean shaven when this took place. So maybe I need... Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of want to keep this one stock that way you know just so and i know the figure is is the same but i may take an interchangeable head and and make like a makeshift jericho acetoning off the beard or something but same exact body black wrist tape tattoos that we've seen a million times and then the same pants that we have seen for chris jericho for a very long time man these are plain black the whole way around plain black knee pads plain black pants plain black boots so the exact same figure from the waist down as pretty much every other jericho you know you have your series one one and your 1B that had like your, you know, and a little bit of the bubbly that had like the zippers and the silver pan panels like painted on the sides. Then you had the Series 6 with like the yellow lining. Then you had the Amazon exclusive that was plain black. You had the Series 8 that was plain black. And then you have this one that's just plain black. And I'm pretty sure a lot of his Chase Vic figures like the 1 of 1,000, the 1 of 5,000 I think both of those were also just plain black or they were similar to a plain black. There weren't anything crazy going on with it. So we have a lot of Jerichos and not a lot of differentiation which is why I feel like this figure is pretty much skippable but uh you know it is what it is man very solid chris jericho it's a great base chris jericho you know but uh not a lot of meat on the bone right here all right guys so this is every single chris jericho release we've seen to this point outside of the one of what thousand jericho and the one of five thousand jericho and i guess the other one of five thousand jericho there's three chase jerichos out there that i have not obtained just yet but these are your regular releases pretty much you have the ringside exclusive little bit of the bubbly you have the series 1a the series 1b with the amazon exclusive white jacket on it. You have the Series 8, the Series 6 with the Kushida Elite 88 shirt on it. Here's the Amazon exclusive and then here's the 1 of 3000 Shop AEW exclusive without any accessories on it. And then I have this other extra random Jericho from Series 1 with the, with the you know, with his accessories on there. So, the AEW Jericho collection is steadily growing. I made a whole video about it but I think there was like 13 or 14 Jerichos out there, something like that in circulation possibly coming. But at the end of the day, man, I love Jericho and I love his figures. But again, not a lot of meat on the bone. I mean, if you look at these figures, you would think it's the same figure with, like, a bunch of different fix-up options, maybe. Like, I feel like the Series 8 stands apart. The Amazon exclusive kind of stands apart. And then, I guess, like, after that, I mean, without it, I guess without their accessories on, that's kind of what you're left with, right? You don't get a lot of stuff going on with it. I need to put my little bit of the bubbly Jericho shirt on this one, to be honest with you. You know, I need to show off some differences as much as possible on the shelf. Anyways, man, that is pretty much your Jericho. That's pretty much your Jericho. And that pretty much does it for your Jericho. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That pretty much does it for your Chris Jericho figure comparisons. Finally, damn. Anyways, man, I think that pretty much wraps up our review of Le Champion Shop AEW, one of 3,000 exclusive AEW and rival Chris Jericho. I really like the figure a lot as a huge Chris Jericho guy. I know you don't get a lot of meat on the bone, right? I, I know that this is not going to be a must-have for a lot of people. I know a lot of people are going to skip over this. They don't really care for it because we have so many Jerichos, right? I mean, this is a direct replica of a lot of Jerichos that we've already seen and even lacking some details therefore of comparing to a lot of other Jerichos we've gotten so I would completely understand if people don't really care about this figure it is going for two three hundred bucks on the aftermarket already it is considered one of those chase exclusive figures it is limited it is high demand it's beautiful in mock packaging so I do understand it but I for one am very excited to have it in my collection and I love it I think it's fantastic if you're not one of those that loves packaging I would say skip over it there's no reason to obtain it honestly but if you're one that loves figures in packaging i would probably skip every other jericho and get this one man because i really love the po the box man it's freaking gorgeous nonetheless man i would love to know down in the comment section below if you guys missed out on this figure or if you guys actually did get to grab it i know a lot of people missed out on it but i do know quite a bit of my friends and people around the community that did manage to grab one or two of these so let me know down below i think it ended up costing me 90 dollars to get two aew shop exclusive jerichos in defender 
standard packages shipped to my door. So that was like $90 shipped, around $89, $90, $91. Somewhere in that ballpark was around the cost. And I think I got a fantastic deal. I got basically two Chase figures in Defender cases for $90. Bucks. I, I think that's a steal. And again, I'll probably use my extra Defender case that this one came in for other AEW figures. So again, man, thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this figure. And if you guys managed to grab one of these or not, are you excited to grab it or is it an easy pass for you? Let me know all those things down below, man. But I'm getting out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. If you guys are attending Lexington Toy Con this weekend, please let me know that as well down below. Thought about just driving up to the show for whatever damn reason, man. Trying to meet Adam Cole, get some figures, just, just shoot the shit, you know? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't cross the line like me, and don't cross the line. You cross the line, I've been